Okay, my name is John Jackson and I head up the ladies and girls section which basically works on development right the way up from 5 to 11 year olds for girls who've not played before as you can see behind us at the, uh, the Wildcats there, uh, right the way through the uh, teams that we have in the Kent Girls and Ladies League which go up to under 18 now and on into the ladies team which plays in the South East Counties, Women's Football League Division 1 East, I think that's the proper title. So how long have you been coaching for and uh, how specifically how long with, uh, with Maidstone United? Uh, with Maidstone United I've been coaching now for about seven years. Um, started off as a reluctant parent being brought in uh, to help out with my daughter's team. Uh, I had coached prior to that men's and boys in London um, and thought I'd got away with it and was able to sit back and relax but that didn't turn out to be the case. Um, from then on, it became a case of being asked to head up the girls section, develop that, how we were going to bring through new teams, uh, and then the ladies, bringing a, reintroducing the ladies' side to the club so that we've now got a fully joined up player pathway. So is this is the, um, the ladies' second season of being back after that little hiatus. What, what, what are your hopes for this coming season? Well, it's actually the third season. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but not a problem. Yeah, um, the first season, of course, they were hyper successful, exceeded all expectations, and you know, won every game they played. Um, we didn't expect that it would always be sort of that easy a, a job. Um, last season was uh, a challenging season. We lost a, a very good manager um, and had a little bit of a uh, one or two players who departed. Um, although the team did really well and finished in runners-up spot. Uh, having been promoted. Um, sadly that wasn't enough on this occasion to get us a promotion to the next level um, and that's undoubtedly the target for this season. Um, you know we've got a very good group that we've put together, some younger players, some experienced players. Uh, we've no doubt about the size of the challenge, there are some very good sides in this division um, but that's what we'll be looking for. Um, aim for the stars, if you've reached the moon you've gone a lot further than most other people somebody once said so uh, we're working on that assumption. And developing the whole the network around it, so the, the, the coaching set up etc again that's been quite key this summer. Uh, absolutely, um, getting the right coaches in, uh, coaches who want to coach younger players the way we want them to be coached. Uh, in other words, to play without fear, to play a brand of football that's entertaining and enjoyable, that's fun for them to play. Um, we try to remove as much pressure as possible, starting again here with the Wildcats going behind me. Through our youth players, everything's got to be in youth teams, everything's got to be about Rather than the end result, it's got to be about how we're developing. You know, if you've added value to every player in that group, if every one of those players has enjoyed that season, then as a coach, you've done your job. Um, the results almost become a secondary thing when you're looking at development, I feel. Although having said that, most of our teams tend to be very successful as well. And I think that's partly because of that philosophy we have rather than in spite of it.